we celebrate Tony Gwynn's life, there is a continuing scientific debate about the true cause of his death. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reports, common sense says we know why he developed cancer, but science says there is no proof. Tony Gwynn started using dip or smokeless tobacco in minor league ball in the early 80s, always putting it in his right cheek. He used chew throughout his career and even after retirement. In 2010, he was diagnosed with cancer of the salivary glands. Two lymph nodes were taken out. In 2012, after a tumor was removed from his cheek, he talked to 10 News. Think about the decisions that you're making and realize that uh, when you make a wrong one, when you make a bad one, you know, those things you're going to have to deal with later on. A few years prior, the American Council on Science and Health had sent out a press release about his cancer, saying there is no evidence at all linking salivary gland cancer with smokeless tobacco. Gwynn's response, of course it was the cause. The cancer was in his right cheek. It's not proven, and so a scientist will not say it's proven. Georgia Robin Sadler is charged with community outreach at the UCSD Moore's Cancer Center. She says there is no evidence of a link because salivary glands cancer is rare and hasn't been studied enough. But considering Chu is a proven cancer-causing agent when it comes to Gwen's cancer cause. In your mind, is there any doubt? No. After Gwen was first diagnosed, Major League Baseball banned players from putting tins in back pockets and using during interviews. But usage during games is still allowed. Critics say usage by athletes is a main reason why 20% of high school boys use chew, according to a federal study. Ronnie Trentham dipped for 12 years, then developed mouth cancer, leading to nine surgeries. I hope his legacy is that his fans will see the danger in tobacco and, and not ever use it. Back in 2011, Gwyn protege star pitcher Steven Strasburg quit smokeless tobacco after Gwyn's diagnosis but has since started back using again. About a third of major leaguers do use chew. Chewing tobacco is banned in minor league and college ball. Michael Chen, 10 News.